Transport's a very sort of current affairs type subject. You've got to know what's going on at the moment in order to grasp the concepts and how the industry is changing. Lots of the students that perform really well in the course come from quite a diverse range of backgrounds, so we appeal to quite a broad range of students. On my course I'm involved with the School of Geography and the Institute for Transport Studies or ITS. Our support teams in both departments work really closely together to make sure we're supporting the students. Certainly for me it's a very relevant discipline and the skills that I've learned in, ge in the geography side of things, GIS, spatial analysis, that sort of thing, uh, but also in terms of conducting research and analysing the literature, they're, they're all relevant skills which then carry over into transport which is my chosen field. You get all the core best bits of BA geography and then you get some transport added on which is like sort of bells on it. Definitely a lot of overlap between the two. One without the other would be would be difficult to excel in transport, definitely. And come out saying, I can think about how this theory actually works in practice. I've got a specialism in an applied area. We are very research focused and we're very cutting edge and that comes straight into our work. From a lecturer and researcher point of view, there's a lot of enthusiasm. Um, you can tell in the way that people teach their subjects. It's that real world context that we will bring in and you get that throughout all of the modules. I've got a good relationship with all of my fellow students as well. You, you get to know them on a personal level because you know the, the lecture, lectures are so small. When you finished your second year, I guess you have two really big choices, which is do you go on to do your third year in the university doing your modules in a kind of very standard approach, or do you take a year out? And that year out can be a year abroad, or it can be a year in industry. Through the careers service, um, I managed to find a placement at uh, Leicestershire County Council. It was absolutely brilliant, and some of the things they got me involved with while I was on placement a very relevant transport planning skills. I was doing modelling, um, work with GIS, all that sort of thing. So they're all interchangeable. It's great on their CV and they really benefit looking at how the work they've been doing in their first and second year works in the real world. It's all about the experience at the end of the day and, and you've got a portfolio of projects that you've been working on as well. Despite the fact that you're taking a Geography with Transport Studies degree, there's a huge range of options open to our students. So we have students who take our modules and go off and work in retail, major supermarkets in their location planning. We've had people go to Sandhurst, the air industry, consultancies in sort of actual transport planners. We have a lot of people go off and work in the rail industry. Doesn't mean you have to be a, a train spotter to come and study with us and be interested in that. But there are lots and lots of really interesting jobs. In, in terms of ITS as sort of industry recognition, if you like, it's up there in terms of the amount that employers will see ITS and they'll immediately go, right, this person is obviously, they know what they're talking about, they've got all the relevant skills. Our alumni are everywhere in the transport sector, so just saying you've got transport from ITS, it helps open doors. We do find our students get interviews very, very easily. In terms of for transport planning, but also the cross-discipline into geography, it's definitely the best university in the country for that. I like that real life sort of side of things, that practical side of helping other people, getting into it and for them to make a difference in planning better transport and better environments and better cities. Obviously the ITS is a world leader in research and um, and teaching. So with that in mind, I think Leeds, Leeds is definitely the go-to place. Mm -hmm.